x to the fourth minus 2x cubed plus x minus 4. Okay? So I'm going to ask you, find the associated conservative force. And then B, find all points of stable and unstable equilibrium. And then C, um, and then I'm going to say, what would happen to the object if it's placed at x equals 0 and plus or minus uh, 3 meters? just some arbitrary points. What would happen to the object <clears throat> if it's placed at those points? Okay, so this is some kind of potential energy function. Find it's associated for a conservative force. F equals negative du dx times i hat, right? This one, you take the derivative of it with respect to x, and then multiply it by i hat. So uh, that would be, you just have to remember to attach a negative here. Negative, uh, uh, the derivative would be 16x cubed minus 6x squared plus 1 times i hat. And then just the negative, right? And that's it. So that's Newtons. The units here is Newtons. The units there would be joules. Okay. Now, uh, that's part A. Part B, find all points of stable and unstable equilibrium. So what we need to do is find out where the potential energy has local min, local max, right? So we take the derivative of the u, set it equal to 0, which is the similar to setting the force equal to 0, right? So the, the derivative of the u, which is equal to this. So basically, it's essentially saying, where is the force on this particle 0 on, for this force field? Okay, you take the derivative of the u, set it equal to 0, S come up with any kind of solution that you can get there. Uh, this one, uh, we, we might have to put it in our TI solver, right? Uh, put this one in the TI solver, get me any kind of solution. There's probably a couple answers. And then what other one? To find more answers, like on a TI-83 or 84, it'll give you only one answer at a time. They're not as advanced as 89. So to, to get more answers, put in a bigger, uh, bigger, um, let's see here. Put in a bigger, uh, guessing number, 6x uh, squared plus 1 equal to 0. Because when, when, when it wants you to solve it for you, it says, what is x equal to, right? And then it finds the closest answer to what you put in. So if, I, if you put in x equals 0, it tells you the answer is point uh, three. 
negative 0 0.30. Yeah, that's what we had. Now, if you want to find another answer, you could put, let's say, 50 for your choice. You put 50 and then press solve. And you, it might give you another positive answer. No, it doesn't, huh? 100. There's only one answer. How about negative 50? Negative 100. There's only one answer, it looks like. Negative 0 0.3035. So that's it. That's, there's just one critical number for this one. Let's make this like this. Let me change this to uh, x squared. So I want to get like maybe one more critical number out of this. x squared, and then the derivative will be, uh, uh, the force will change to uh, 2x. And then over here, we'll have a 2x. And then uh, you'll actually get two answers, right? The, you can factor out the x, right? And you'll get a 0. And the other solution will be Yeah, if I change this to plus, change this to plus, it's giving me a solution 0 0.40. So this one, uh, then we change it to plus. I guess all of them became plus now. Uh, 16 x cubed plus uh, 6x squared plus 2x. You'll still have one, this solution, and you'll have, I get 0 0.40. You guys get that? Well, yeah, that's one of the solutions. But remember to factor out the x, and then just put it in as 16x squared. Uh, let's see. Still gives you not true? It doesn't want to give us two solutions, huh? Let's see here. Um, okay, let's just change this to. Which one? Oh, okay. This one? Both of those. Let's see what happens there. So when I'm giving this on the test, I have to really see, make sure you get two solutions to make it more interesting. But I might just say it's up to you guys to determine if there's a solution, right? doesn't have to be relative min, min or max. Then you would say no answer. I mean, in terms, of, in terms of this potential energy function, you would say just doesn't have a, 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 well, it could have just local min or just local max, in which case there's no, uh, it'll just be either stable equilibrium or unstable equilibrium, but it won't have both, right? So now what happens here? Negative negative. We could actually factor out the 2x, so we have 8x squared minus 3x minus 1. So we have one solution, x equals 0. Now hopefully we get it. Oh, I get two more solutions. So I have three solutions. That's a good test question right there. Yeah, three solutions.